What's up, everyone? This is going to be buy orders. Keep it simple. We're right in the marketplace. If you don't know how to get there, if you just go to the right to shop marketplace, it's the first thing there. MLB players. Buy orders are pretty simple. There's a buy now column and a sell now column you see there. First item, Barry Larkin. 43,000 stubs to buy now. That's how much it would cost to just buy it right off the marketplace and have that in your inventory immediately. Sell now. If you have an extra Barry Larkin or you didn't ever, you never collected Barry Larkin in any collections, you didn't lock him into anything or exchange him and you have him to sell and he's not on your squad, you can sell him immediately and get 2,000, two, sorry, 22,000 stubs immediately. Now, buy orders in order to make stubs and either flip cards or get it for the lowest price is you use that margin to your advantage all right that margin is almost it's twenty one thousand and change right the difference between forty three thousand and twenty two thousand now if you back out of the marketplace and go back in a couple minutes later that price could change by just a couple of thousand stubs pretty quickly all right it can go up and down but the lesson here is if i want to buy barry larkin i would not buy him right now for forty three thousand stubs I could do that to get them immediately, but what I'm going to do instead is put a buy order in just above the sell now price. So if the sell now price is $25,000, i am going to try to put an order in, let's say, $26,800. All right. Now you'll notice, note, seller will be taxed 10% for all items sold. You don't have to do any crazy math. You don't have to worry about the 10% thing. You just got to know that if you try to put a, a buy order in just above the sale now price, it's going to lower your offer just a little bit. All right. So someone who has Barry Larkin, whether it's a duplicate or they just want to get rid of them and sell them to make some stubs, they will eventually sell you the Barry Larkin card that you want, but it's going to going to go in order of the highest offer. If you put it in for 26,000 stubs, the seller's only going to receive 24000 uh, and some change. So if I really want it sooner than later, I'm going to go put it in, say, seven twenty seven eight hundred, and that'll raise it up to 25 of 20 All right, so let's go, let's just go 28000 All right, $25,200, we will raise it up just a little bit more. All right, so now it's above the sale now price, so I would be the first offer. The first person to sell Barry Larkin would go to me. In the beginning of the year, what to keep in mind is you don't always have to go above the sell now price. You just want to go right around it. Early in the year and in the middle of the year, these cards will sell very fast. You will exit out of the marketplace and you have a notification that someone sold you Barry Larkin almost immediately. Later in the year, it's a little bit harder. You got to put a better offer in. But if you want to flip cards, this is one way to do it. So... If I put that order in, you'll see here, buy order 28600, all right, finalize order. The order is posted. If I back out and go to my orders, I go to active orders, you'll see it's there. Once that changes over and someone sells me Barry Larkin, it'll go to my completed orders page, and I can see my transaction history of buying and selling cards. One thing to note about putting buy orders in is that once you put the buy order in, it's going to take the stubs out of your account immediately. So if you look at the top left, my stub count is lower than it was before. If I want to get the stubs back and I don't really care about getting the card soon, I can go ahead back in into marketplace, my orders, active orders, and just cancel the order. This is great for flipping cards because you can look at the margins at all these players. So the difference between 43,000 and 28,000, that's the margin, right? You have potential to make stubs in between that margin. What I recommend is going to showzone.io or .gg, whatever they change their torrent or website to. I don't think it's actually a torrent. So I misspoke in there, but go to showzone. I'll put the link in the description. They have updated margins every five or eight minutes. So it's very on the dot about what's happening in the marketplace. And you can see here, even in January, that the prices are shifting every couple of minutes. It's going to be very drastic at the beginning of the year. As you can see there, my order for Barry Larkin completed at 28,600 stubs. All right. So go to Showzone to find the best margins. For example, there's a 60,000 stub about, you know, margin here. But just keep in mind the 10% tax that the seller um, 
will receive on that. You won't make it actually 60,000 stubs. You'll make a little bit less, but look for large margins. Uh, the more stubs that the cards cost, the more it will take off for the tax. Um, it's always going to be 10%, but just keep in mind that margin. All right, if you don't have a lot of stubs, you can still do this with lower priced cards and you can do it with equipment as well. I would recommend doing it with equipment very early in the year so people want to get done their collections for equipment and they'll be buying them very quickly off the marketplace. So make sure you buy equipment for low prices, put those buy orders in, sell them for higher and keep doing that over and over again with all the equipment. You can do it for sponsorships, stadiums, uniforms, unlockables, perks. Uh, and of course, cards, like I just described. All right, now sell orders, if you want to, if you're flipping the card and you want to sell it, it's pretty, you know, it's the same mentality, same philosophy there. You just kind of, um, instead of putting a buy order in just above the sell now price, you're gonna put a sell order in just below the buy now price. So if I wanted to sell Barry Larkin, I would sell him back now. All right, go over to sell, sell order. I'm gonna put in 44. 500. Now I'm only going to receive 40,000 stubs here, but I only bought them for 28. So I'm going to be making 12,000 stubs just off of doing that card. All right. So I'm going to final this order. Now, hopefully someone, um, if it's like I said, early in the year, middle of the year, people will be buying them faster. That'll sell a little bit quicker and I'll get my stubs faster. But at this time of year, probably not going to happen today. Okay, but if you guys like this video, leave a like. If you have any suggestions and you want to add on to it, leave it in the comments so that everyone down below can read it. And I'll see you guys on the next video.